When it comes to leading your industry, I think that we all understand that content is key. When I first started in the industry, what brought my business from single earnings to seven figures was the fact that I absorbed another person's content. And to me, he was positioned as the authority in the industry. And over the course of the next probably three to four years, I probably spent about $100,000 just in his coaching program alone. And so when it comes to you, if you're looking to jockey and lead the industry, and if you're looking to generate leads, the best thing that you can do is deliver content and content that matters. So today, what I want to do is I want to give you the framework and, inter and how you can get your content speech or your content delivery started so that everything you do moving forward is impactful and people pay attention. And when pe people pay attention, they're gonna start to pay you with their actual dollars. So how many of us would say that we want to say something, but we don't know what to say? How many of us would say that we have content, but don't know how to deliver it? And lastly, how many of us have nothing to say and don't want to say anything at all. We want to be internet gangsters. We want to hide behind our computer and we don't ever want to put anything out into the web space. Well, if the third option is you, you're already dead in the water. So today I want to give you the framework of delivering awesome content that's going to position you as the authority in your industry. Here's the framework for any type of speech or content that you're going to be delivering moving forward. Number one, you want to have an introduction. Number two, you want to have three to five main points. Now, the shorter the speech or the shorter the content, the less points you want to have. You can also have one point, and I'll go into depth in this later. You can have one point that's one longer point, but if you've got three kind of like general points about it, then you want that's where your shorter shorter so it goes one could be long three could be a little bit longer and five is generally for a keynote speech so when you're delivering something like uh like a 45 minute speech three is great for any content that's about three to five minutes in length and if you're just looking to put content out in volume then i suggest to do three then you want to give a summary and a conclusion and lastly there should always be some type of call to action so let's start with the introduction and as you can see, this image popped out at you. It probably scared you, but it kept your interest and you can't stop looking at it. It's bright, it's bold, it's red, it's a scary ass clown. <laughs> now, when it comes to your introduction, it should only account for about 10% of your total content. How many of us have sat through a speech and the person's up there, they're talking, they're talking, they're talking, they're talking, and they don't get to the point. Your introduction should only account for a small portion of the total volume of your speech. And so when you're delivering that, don't ramble on in the beginning of it just because you're trying to get warm, you're trying to build your audience's engagement, or you're nervous, right? Like the key is that you get to the point. And when you give your introduction, it must catch your audience attention to keep them going, to keep them listening, to keep them reading, to keep them watching. And then at the very beginning, you must state the purpose of your content because it creates a connection. It creates a connection to your reader, your listener, or your viewer so that they continue to go on. And when you do your introduction, you always want to establish your credibility. So what makes you the expert to stand up there or to create this video or to write this content so that people can say, okay, you know what? I'm going to listen to this person because they're legit. They've been there, done that. And Again, you need to explicitly state why your audience needs to pay attention. So why is this content important? Not to you, the speaker, but why is this content important to the audience that, again, is listening, that is viewing, or that is reading? So this is a one-part series. What I want you to do is let me know if there was any value of this so that I can continue writing these or continue to present on this topic. And what I'll do is I'll release stage two of how to create content and be the authority in your industry.